Hey what's up guys, it's Moonfee here and today I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare 3. For today's video, I'm going to be unlocking the Jack Maglev aftermarket part. In order to unlock this aftermarket part, you basically have to complete any 5 challenges from week 3. And that can be from multiplayer to zombies to BR. I believe you just have to get a total of 5 done. For me personally, I will be focusing on the multiplayer challenges just because I do prefer multiplayer above all else. Which by the way, this is basically my first time unlocking a aftermarket part as this is not typically something I do. I don't know why I actually haven't really been focusing too much on the aftermarket parts. I know that that is something unique to Modern Warfare 3 is to have aftermarket parts that come out weekly. But for me personally, I just haven't been focusing on them. I've been mostly focusing on my camera grind and just keeping to that. So it will be nice to basically try to unlock my first aftermarket part as well with that being said. So if I do get a few things wrong, I do apologize in advance as this is my first time actually unlocking a aftermarket part intentionally rather than unintentionally. But anyways, one of the first challenges I want to do to get this aftermarket part unlocked is get 20 operator hit fire kills with recommended pistols. As a heads up, I don't really use pistols on here. I don't know why, I just have not gravitated towards them at all. But I will still try to use a pistol nonetheless. And since one of the recommended pistols is the Renetti, I think I will just go ahead and use that with that being said. And this is the build that I will be using for it. Also, as a side note, I don't know if this is a good build or not. I just basically slapped on a bunch of random attachments and called it a day. I did try this in the firing range, however, and it's not that great for like mid ranges so I am kind of worried about that but oh well <laughs> I know that's like a bad thing but oh well either way I will be queuing up for some small map mosh pit and hopefully I do get some shipment because that will be the easiest place to get those pistol hit fire kills and also one of the challenge is to get like 30 kills with the haymaker with no attachments so I will also be trying to go for that as well as I am playing the shipment lobby huh? oh my what the that was so strange all right some hip fire kills with my pistol well, there is one hipfire kill. Hmm, the Renity is kind of weak. I might have to switch to... I feel like the tears because those are really strong. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. There's one more person with my pistol. There's another person with the pistol. Oh, what is that screeching noise? Ew. Did you guys hear that? I don't know if it's gonna get picked up on the recording, but like, gross. I've... What is that high-pitched noise? That's so disgusting. I've never heard something so high-pitched in this game, and I'm not even sure what that was. I did not like it by any means, however. That was just terrible. Why is there a giant microphone right here? Did I miss something? What is that? Was that the noise I was hearing earlier? I am so confused. I don't think I've ever seen a giant microphone in this game. That makes like no sense. Also, like I said, I'm also just getting killed with like the haymaker with no attachments as that's also one of the weekly challenges. There's another pistol kill. Awesome. I gotta heal though. I wonder if they will tell me if I finished it or not. I hope so. Cause like, <laughs> imagine if I'm done and I just don't know yet. That would suck, honestly. There's a haymaker kill, by the way. So that's great. This will probably take a minute or two, by the way, before I get my challenges done. I hear the epic music. I think I might've finished one of the challenges. I'm gonna assume I did. So let's just get kills with the uh, shotgun now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we lost. It's okay. Okay, so after that match, I actually did get one of my challenges done, which was obviously the hip fire kills with a pistol. And I did get five kills with a haymaker with no attachments, along with two long shots with a shotgun. So that's pretty great. I actually did make some progress on two other camos while I was in that match. Also, I do want to mention, since I did make some progress on those two challenges, I'll probably just go for them in my next match as well. And I'll try to hopefully get triple kills with a shotgun if possible. I don't know if it would be possible with the haymaker, especially if it has no attachments but i'll see and i'll definitely try to get some point blanks while i'm at it this is me trying to be hopeful i can get these challenges done or at least make some progress on them focusing <laughs> <Eliminate hostile>. hello <laughs> hello <laughs> oh no oh he died how dare you kill my friend that wasn't very nice he was my best friend there's two more kills. Awesome. Another kill. And another. One more. Ooh, a point blank. Awesome. 
not a point blank not a point blank but obviously that's not going to be a point blank <laughs> what a silly silly person got him again i really like that person because they're allowing me to get easy point blanks Ooh. come back thank you <laughs> i don't ever use shotguns on here so this is like so weird to me Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. They went flying. Another point blank and a triple. Cool. Yeah, Stash House is really good for this kind of stuff. Okie dokie. Well, that was game. Am I a bad person? I was using a shotgun and I somehow was on the top of the leaderboard on my team. Okay, well, after that match, I did end up completing three challenges. So thankfully, that's really good. I actually made some good progress on that. So now I just have to get two more challenges done. And then I have this aftermarket part unlocked. I personally think I want to go for this one next, which is to get two operator kills with one magazine 10 times using a recommended LMG. This challenge is seems a lot more doable and easier than to get a triple kill with a shotgun or a long shot with a shotgun. With that being said though, I am gonna go ahead and queue for some small map mosh pit and hopefully get that done. Okie dokie. Got some shipment and I got some domination. Hi friend. Anyways, I just have to get two kills with one magazine and then I have a challenge done. There we go. This one. Oh no, the fart grenades are here. <laughs> and there's two people. Awesome. There's one. Two, okay. This one. And two, I am flash tower. One. And two. There's one. Two. I don't know if I'm done. I hope I am. I am. Awesome. Okie dokie. Well, that was match. So after that match, I definitely completed my LMG challenge. And I only have one more to go. And I can't decide if I want to go for triple kills or long shots with my shotgun. I guess I can try for both and see what happens. I don't necessarily know which one I want to go for realistically. But yeah, I guess we'll just hope for the best. With that being said, though, I am going to be queuing for some hardcore small map mosh pit. I feel like that might be the better place to go ahead and try to get the triple kills or even the long shots so that's what i'm going to be doing okie dokie so i got some stash house i don't know how this will go but hopefully it goes well and i did get some tdm so it'll probably go by really quickly actually i want to try throwing a grenade Oop, maybe it'll get someone maybe it won't i guess we'll find out Ooh, a long shot awesome Double kill. Ooh, that was definitely a long shot for sure Another long shot. Person had a funny name. <laughs> hey, I got the seven long shots. Awesome. Okay, well, since I did unlock the aftermarket part in that match, I did want to go ahead and check it out and see how it is. I currently have the conversion kit equipped to the haymaker. Here it is. It's very big and bulky, that's for sure. So I did end up putting on a few attachments, but nothing too major. This is basically the gun with the conversion kit. It is very big <laughs> like that is a really big conversion kit it looks like you have like extra ammo in it and it does say i have 60 out of 999 which the 999 is just unlimited ammo but i apparently have 60 rounds in this shotgun now do i need 60 rounds with this shotgun probably not but that's okay because i do like extra ammo let's see how this conversion kit does with an enemy near to us wait can i hold down the trigger that was so weird wait Okay, so I think I understand how it works. Basically, you get two bullets instead of one for this haymaker and it shoots really fast compared to what it normally shoots. I'm curious to see how this does because that is actually really interesting. Because like, look at that. That's just crazy fast. Okay, so I changed a few attachments on here and now it shoots a lot better. There's not nearly as much recoil. Look at how insane that is. That's crazy. Yeah, I definitely want to try this out on shipment and be a menace. So let's go ahead and queue for some small map mosh pit and hopefully I get shipment. So I got some shipment and I have some hardcore domination on shipment actually. I'm excited to try this thing out. It's either going to be the best thing or the worst thing. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh, I like how this is going so far because usually the haymaker is not the best when it comes to being a shotgun. It's kind of like a meh shotgun. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, teammate. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. <laughs> that when you spawn next to the enemies, and so you can just get them instantly. Wow, this thing is good. I am surprised how good it is doing so far. I don't even have to aim in. This thing is just so crazy. Oh, sorry. I killed that guy twice now. I feel so bad. I don't mean to. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's nothing special. It's just pretty good. I don't know what you guys are on about. It's not that great. It's a pretty bad uh, shotgun. This conversion kit is uh, clearly not the best. I highly recommend you don't try it. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Okay. I feel like I've gotten so many kills with this thing, but I feel like I also have to like go to the enemies as they're just kind of anchoring down at the moment. Oh no. Ooh. Nice split. Oh my god. Why would he spawn right in front of me? Like, right there. That makes no sense. <laughs> okay. Nice spots, guys. Kim and Durant didn't deserve that. Oh, wow. Oh, that was an 8 multi. That's crazy. You guys super kill off of that one. Yeah, this conversion kit is honestly really good. Unfortunately, we did lose it, but like... That's crazy. This conversion kit was like super easy to use. Oh my god. With that conversion kit, I dropped 88 kills. That's kind of ridiculous. I can see why the enemy team was kind of anchoring down now. It makes a lot more sense. And also, since I don't typically go for these conversion kits and aftermarket parts, I would say that one was definitely worth it. It was actually really good and definitely a really cheesy one as well because that thing is shooting really fast and especially in hardcore shipment, it's like devouring the enemy teams. I personally don't see myself using that one too much just because I feel like it's kind of mean to use. I want to make sure everyone has a good experience when they're playing Call of Duty. And if I saw someone with that aftermarket part equipped to their haymaker, I know for a fact I would not be having fun. I just personally can't see myself using it after today though, just because I do feel guilty about using something like that. Also, I will say I actually had a pleasant time going for these weekly challenges today. It's not typically something I would do, so I actually had quite a bit of fun trying to get them done. And it was definitely a lot different than going for my camera grind challenges because I already know what to expect when I'm doing my camera grinds. So this was really fun and different. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end my video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unlock the Jack Maglift aftermarket part today. I had a lot of fun doing so. And also if you already have the Jack Maglift aftermarket part, let me know what you think about it. I would love to know. And yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, night, or evening. Take it easy and peace. Bye! <laughs>